Hello guys, let's see this problem in Hakkaran called exceptional server. So this problem is kind of a bit tricky because they have, I think the explanation is kind of not that good. So I, even I am solving the problem for the first time. So obviously we'll have to deal with it. Let's just copy this code and paste it over here on IntelliJ. It is C lion. And let us see what we can do about it. So fine, they have a class server. We'll deal with it afterwards. First of all, the main function. It is taking in the okay hold on first of all let me explain you the problem so you have to take in the first of all the number of test cases that is how many test cases then this is the first test case second test case you have to take in two numbers a and b and you have to print out the error message that they gave us obviously the name of the problem is exceptional server and you can judge by it that you have to use try and catch blocks so in this case a is negative so you have to print it out a is negative then in this case this number is too huge so you have to write not enough memory and they have actually explained it over you can read yourself so not enough memory then we have to print out some exception as well and you have to, if you don't know what exception do we have other than these three then you have to print out other exception fine that's cool so this was our main main method as i discussed before and they are using t as number of test cases and they are taking in t then a while loop for each and every test case they are taking in two numbers a and b then we can change the code over here but they are printing out server they are using the server class so let us see what this class is Okay, it has a private variable called load, then public method, and this is a static method, compute, and it is handling all these messages like a is negative and so on, so on, so on. So that's all fine. And if you see, it has this main method function has, uh, you know, get got access to this get load function by using server, that is the name of the class, then double colon, and this thing, the name of that function. So because this is a static function, that's why. So let us do the same thing. Now we have to get access to the, first of all obviously we will have to try something. So what are we going to try? We are going to try to get access to this, get, uh, what is the name, okay, compute method. So we will do the same thing as they did over here, so as that method is static. So server, to get access to that method just write, to come, okay, it is only suggesting me. So our variables are A and B simply, and we don't have to just get access to it, we have to print it out. So C out this thing, and okay, hold on, what am I doing, server, so C out then this thing and let us just end this line as a good habit so end line fine this is done now now we'll de we'll have to deal with the errors so catch first of all let us see what exception can we get right so exception let us catch some exception let us call it e for simplicity and what are we supposed to do simply print out that exception e and the message that it has so that is e dot what and that i think you'll have to end the line so end line Okay, here I don't think we have to print out E directly. You have to simply print out the exception. So exception, that is what is the exception? I am not sure if you have spaces over, but let us see what happens. If we get an error, then we'll have to deal with it. So again, after this, we have to catch the, if they, we have, you know, extra memory, that is bad luck. So this thing, and afterwards, again, the same thing. So actually, let us call it something. Let us call it BE, that is bad allocation, just for simplicity's sake see out and i think you are simply supposed to print out out of memory or something like that you have to print out not enough memory so not enough memory if i am right with the spellings and all okay fine and again end the line as a good habit so this is done okay hold on this is not done fine now this is done and now the thing is that we have to print out other exception or something like that i am get i am always forgetting what is it. okay other exception so i'll just copy this thing other exception so if you want to catch any other exception than these exceptions that is that is this thing and this thing if you have to catch anything other than this exception hold on catch then you have to simply write three dots that is any other exception there is any exception that you can handle and now you have to simply print out other exception and end the line again and just let us see what happens now so i'll just do one thing I'll just copy this or rather than copying let us check if it is actually working or no so okay there was an, some error I guess so I'll just do anything first of all copy this and what is there let us see okay no error so I'll paste that thing and hit enter okay exception okay I don't think we are supposed to print out std exception a is negative you have to print out a is negative not enough memory and to okay okay we are not doing that right now okay I got it we have to use uh, this thing address we have to pass this thing and that's why we are getting that thing so and over here and over here and now let's see what happens okay now we are getting an error no i don't know why this is happening okay is negative exception okay now that is looking pretty cool okay this is still not working wow why 
I did not even tell them to print that message because I have simply printed out this thing. So I'll just do thing. Let us try this doing this thing. Instead of printing that out first, let us shift this catch block upwards and now let us see what happens. I'm not sure still, but yeah, let us see what happens. So again, copy this thing. Again, paste this thing, hit enter. Okay, now it is working. I don't know what is this problem. Okay, I got it. We have to just move this catch block upward. That's why it was not working. And just copy the try and catch blocks and paste them somewhere here so i'll just use some tabs so it looks a bit cool and submit it let us see what happens i don't think we should have any error according to me okay there's no error so i think it's working yeah so that's all from my side you can subscribe to my channel to get updates regarding new videos that's all stay tuned and keep learning thank you for watching